All right, you guys, how are you? Jade Hooper here, gold leader at Q. Um, we're going to talk about messaging, okay? Um, if you haven't watched my video about why we post and how to post, make sure that you watch that because um, these things really go hand in hand, okay? I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. You have to be talking to people. Like your money is in your messenger, <laughs> If you're not in your messenger, if you're not in your DMs talking to people, you're not going to build your business because we don't walk around with like a big neon sign that says like, I'm like by Q core, do a gut reset. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just don't do that. And if we solely relied on our posts to build our business for us, we're just leaving our business and our income up to chance because Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of these websites have or apps have algorithms. And these algorithms are like that platform's scientific way that they decide if your post should show to who. And you guys like, you have no control over who actually sees your post. If I go on my newsfeed right now, I'm going to see posts from two days ago, an hour ago, 20 seconds ago, 22 minutes ago. It's just so at random. You see what I'm saying? So posting is important because of what I'm going to tell you now. Okay. So, um, number one, we are not saturated. We're in massive growth, massive momentum. And because of that, we lead with our business opportunity. Our products are amazing. They're formulated with so much knowledge. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I'm sure you are too, but we lead with our business opportunity, you guys. Um, so, I'm going to teach you guys a little bit of our ambassador conversation flow and what an ambassador conversation flow. It's just a way to share with people the information about what we do in a specific order, just so that way you can like get through an actual conversation. And I want you to just think of it this way. Have you guys ever been to Jimmy John's or you've been to Subway? If you've gone to Subway the first thing that they do when you walk in is they say, hi, what can I get for you? And you tell them your sandwich. They ask you what kind of bread you want. They ask you what kind of cheese you want, what kind of meat you want. Do you want it toasted? <laughs> I can't believe I remember this. They ask you what kind of veggies you want. And then they ask you sauce. And then they ask if you want any herbs. This whole thing, this is a process and it's the same every single time. They can't ask you what sauce you want first because there's no bread. They can't ask you if you want it toasted after they've put vegetables on it because they'll be gross. Do you see what I'm saying? It all has an order to it. When I was a hairstylist, when you came in and you were telling me what you wanted to do with your hair, I had like an order that I asked you certain questions so I could get from like knowing what you wanted until, you know, getting your end results so we could get started. Do you know what I'm saying? So when you are talking to people about this business, you're going to have the exact same thing. Now, this is in our boards app. I want you guys to know. Um, So it's there for you, but I'm going to explain to you guys what I do. Okay. So first things first, especially when you're brand new, when you're brand new, I want you guys to really think about like, who do you already know? And who do you already like know and love? Now, my mindset is looking at this business is like, okay, so I'm going to leave with the business opportunity and I'm going to help other, like I'm here. I'm going to, I'm going to be the little fairy that just like shares with people ways to make extra money. Okay. Who, who, who needs money? Who needs extra money? Everybody. There's not a single person on this earth that does not need extra money. So if that is the truth, I'm going to talk to everybody about the business. I'm going to bring it up to everybody. Okay. Now, just like I shared in my training about posting, you may reach out to people first before they see you because they might not even see your posts. <clears throat> but if you reach out to someone and they don't reply, do not freak out. <laughs> it's because they're going to go to your page and they're going to see who you are and they're going to get to know you. They're going to say, who is Jade? They're going to see my kids and me and my husband and the things that are important to me and what we do and where we go and all these things. Okay. The message is very clear who I am. 
And so now I've kind of planted a seed and they're kind of getting familiarized with who I am. Okay. I just want you to preface this with that because it's very important that you understand that. Okay. So who do you already know somebody that you immediately are like, if I could start my business with anybody, I would want to start with them. Okay. We're going to reach out to these people. Now you can go straight in for the kill and you could be like, listen, I want you to look at this thing with me. I'm excited. Okay. And your, whoever enrolled you can kind of help you formulate like an invite. So that way you're not word vomiting on all of them, because we all have done that where we just like say a bajillion different things instead of keeping it short and sweet. Okay. Number two, the next thing is going to be everybody else is going to be a cold market person. You have really three different markets. Okay. Markets are who we know. It's our network. We have our hot market, our hot leads, people who we know really well. They're good. They're warm, toasty, ready to rock and roll. Okay. They're going to be getting started. We have our warm market. Our warm market is people who, if we saw them, we would go up to them and give them a hug and say, hi, it's nice to see you. There are people that we kind of know. It's the lady at the gas station that you see when you're there two times a week getting a soda and gas or something. You know what I'm saying? It's the person you went to high school with. It's it's the people that you kind of more know of, okay? Your cold market is the rest of the world. There are people who you've never talked to. They could be your friends on Facebook. They could be following you on Instagram. You've never talked to them before. That is your cold network. Here's the deal. If you are associated to them in some way, shape, or form, where they are following you, you are following them, you guys are friends on Facebook, message them and reach out to them. I go in for the kill. I just, I don't, I think it's, one thing that I learned a long, long time ago, one of my mentors taught me is that people don't care if you have an agenda, as long as you don't hide it. Meaning like, I hate, like, I hate small talk. Like, Hey, how's it going? How are you? How's Christmas? How's your, what do you have for Thanksgiving dinner? What's your blood type? What's your social security number? It's like, they know that people know that you're, that you're trying to get at something. I just don't do that. Cause I know that they're trying to do something. So I just reach out to people. Okay. Now, what I will do is I will go on my Facebook messenger. Um, there's a little context button. I will go into my friends list and I will just literally go down the list and I will go and I will look at someone's page and I will see who's this person. How are they? Now, sometimes you'll be like, I'm friends with someone who doesn't even post. They haven't posted on social media since 2017. It's been years. Unfriend them. They're not active. Okay. You'll find another person. I find Jessica. Jessica is a mom and she works and she's so cute and she's very excited. I think this should be great for this. Okay. Anybody can do this. I do not sift hardcore through. I am not someone to judge. Okay. Now, if they're literally not active on social media, this is not for them. Okay. But I believe my core belief every day when I wake up, I close my eyes and I say, the people who need this are coming to me and I'm coming to them. I want to find the jades of the world. I want to find the women who were little girls that had single moms that went without a lot of things that just want to be able to buy laundry soap that want to be able to provide for their kids. My goal is to find those people. And so if Jessica is in my line of sight and she's there, I'm going to reach out to her. Now, what that message looks like can be so simple. It can be like, Hey, I know this is kind of straightforward, but I was just checking out your page. I think you would be so good at what I do. Could I send you some info to see if this would be a good fit for you? I don't know anybody who couldn't use a couple extra hundred dollars a month right now. Very kind, simple, straightforward. Jessica is either going to say nothing, no thank you, or what is it that you do? That's your expectations. Cause I know that you guys are going to be like, oh my God, I feel like my throat's going to fall out of my body. If I have to sit here and reach out to someone, I don't, what, what am I, what am I going to say? What, what if they say something, what am I going to do? You're not going to die. Everything's going to be fine. Those are really, honestly, your three, your three responses. If they say nothing, just like I taught you in our posting training, Jessica now is going to go to my page and kind of see who I am. She might not even know who I am. We could be friends on Facebook for years and never had seen each other's profile until I went through my friends list. You know what I'm saying? The algorithm is just stupid. (laughs) So if she says, no, thank you, I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to move, move on. I'm going to move along. 
not a big deal. Okay. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to live, laugh, love. and I'm going to move along. If she says, sure, what do you do? I'm going to follow the ambassador conversation flow, right? That whole, your, your subway start to finish process. I'm going to voice message her and I'm going to say something like, Hey, I'm going to voice message you really quick. I'm super excited. I love what I do. I'm an ambassador for the number one fastest growing wellness company in the world. It's amazing. I got started because I was a hairstylist and a mom and I just needed a way to make some extra money. And honestly, this turned into like more than I could have ever imagined. Um, The products are awesome. They were formulated by the doctor that led WebMD for over 15 years, which is just really cool because who doesn't know WebMD? From there, I say, I've seen a little bit about you from your page, but I don't know everything. Tell me more about you and we can go from there. So they're going to tell me about themselves because they're the most important person here. Like I said, when I reached out to them, I want to see if this would be a good fit, a good fit for them. Sometimes it's not a good fit for people. So I want to know all about her. Jessica's going to tell me who she is, about her life. Does she work? She's got kids, all of the things. My next message is I'm going to relate to her. I'm probably going to voice message her back again. And I'm going to say, oh my gosh, I totally get it. I've, I've got three kids. I know you said you have two. I'm going to, I don't know. There's something that she's going to talk about that I'm going to relate to in some way, shape or form. And I'm really just trying to like grow my connection, just like I did when I was a hairstylist, when someone was sitting in my chair and I was doing their hair and they're telling me how they're a mom. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm a mom. How old are your kids? Oh my God, my kids are this. You know what I mean? Like we're just making small talk. We're getting to know each other and creating like a bond from there. After I kind of relate to her a little bit, I'm going to say, listen, I think that this would be perfect for you. This is what I want to do next. Now, just so you know, this is in parentheses, you guys, between me and you, we have our opportunity calls every single night where we're going over the business. Okay. So I would say to her, listen, um, I have a zoom that's going to go over everything head to toe what we do, how we do it, the products, how to get started, how we make money, like all the things It's probably going to answer all of your questions. Um, and then we can kind of go from there. Does eight 30 central tonight work or does tomorrow work better? I'm just assuming she's going to choose one. Does tonight work or does tomorrow work better? And then she's going to tell me, okay, I'm going to give her the information. Now, if she chooses tomorrow, I'll give her the Zoom info tomorrow. If she says tomorrow night will work better, I'll say, okay, perfect. I'll message you around noon and I'll give you the information for the call. And then that way it's kind of like a follow-up. If she says she can come on tonight, I'll say, okay, perfect. Here's the Zoom information. Um, I'll message you an hour and just make sure that you've got like Zoom downloaded okay and that you can get in. And then you follow up. You want to make sure you follow up. So you can literally take that whole message sequence, that message process, and you can go through and you can, you can literally take this to every single person that's in your friends list. Okay. Now this is what you want to do, you know, every day of the week minus Friday, because Fridays are for following up, but posting every single day. So you're being consistent, showing people who you are and what you're excited about. And then messaging every single day. How many people should you message? That's always the question. I say, however many people you need to until you have three to five back and forth conversations with new people. Some days that might take you 10. Some days that might take you 45 on a bad day, it might be a hundred because we'll you'll have those days where you're going to be like, I've talked to a bajillion people and no one's replying to me. We all have those days. Okay. So those are the first two things that I want you to really focus on. Okay. Um, if you have questions, let me know. And then we will move on to the next part. Okay. Love you guys. Proud of you. Talk to you soon.